Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to show you how to edit videos in Sony Vegas Pro. It is for Sony Vegas Pro 14, but it isn't like necessary to have it. I'm just going to go through the basics in the editing of videos. So I just made a video, I just recorded one that is already online and I'm just going to show you how to edit it right now. So I generally, you know, I uh, I have the previous project open so I want uh, I want to uh, make a new one in that case it is like 90 20 by 1080 as I said it's like the thumbnails and the videos everything should be this size uh, I go through these I mean I've been through this in a video like it's called the best settings of Sony Vegas Pro for, for rendering uh, you should definitely check it out and that basically goes in detail through all this but uh, it's basically how it should like it should look like this just generally you know 60 FPS uh, best quality rendering uh, Gaussian blur, that's not really, and, uh, and then in the end you're gonna do this, adjust, source, and then start with this with all new projects. I don't have to do that anymore because, as you can see, it's called custom for me, and this is, this is my template that I always use. I'm gonna click OK. OK, right now we have an empty thing, I'm gonna go right here and say, there you go, import media. So I'm gonna use, this is my OBS folder with all the recordings, I'm gonna do the last one I did. I believe it's this one, right? I mean, this is not anything, I believe. Uh, I believe it's this one. It's 12th of January. Yeah, okay, it's this one. So there we have it. I'm gonna put it right here. And as you can see, it became a pretty long video. But in the end, in the beginning, I don't say anything, and every, you know, I'm, I'm quiet and I'm checking all my things. And then sometimes I have hesitations, so it will be shorter in the end. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna just generally show you how to edit videos. So I'm gonna start off. Just gonna just gonna listen to the audio. Um, it's just me generally, you know. I know it's all. I'm just checking everything, you know, my audio. If it's recording, I'm always doing that before and during the beginning of my recordings to be sure that I record and everything. So yeah, that's all not important. Now as you can hear, I started talking there, but I don't always make it the first try. I make some missed speakings, you know, so I'm going to listen if it's okay. So I'm going to put it somewhere over here and I always listen if it's directly a good start of a video. Yeah, well, that's pretty, it's good. So go over here, doesn't really matter. I do trim start and I drag it all the way to the, yeah, to the beginning. And as you can see right now, as I start the video, it's it's just playing like the way it should. So that's pretty simple. Basics right here. I know not sure if everybody's here for the really basics, but I'm just going through everything one by one. Okay, so it's a pretty good sentence actually. Can't remember that, but okay. So I'm gonna go right over where I stopped talking. I need to finish the word attractive, of course. Okay, so that should be somewhere over here. I split it and uh, I also already, you know, I always listen through the whole video because I want to really know if I make everything good, you know, I'm just going to skip right here. You can't do that. You really have to listen to it and every time you see something, oh, it's not really good, you cut it or if it's a big break or something. Okay, so I can re there's a little bit of emptiness here, a little break, so you can see I can just do this. I'm gonna make a trim start. I'm not gonna make the. Uh, uh, oh, I don't like that, so I'm gonna do this. Okay, I like that. So I'm gonna split it. Yeah, right. File a new. So I'm gonna make. Okay, I'm gonna make a finish. Yes, okay. I'm gonna do split again. Well, this is a, this is not all the way all the time, and this is just a, what I just did. In that case, you have this split item, and you just have to remove it and place this over here. As you can see, there's a pretty nice transition there between this editing. Well, as you can see here, as this is because I have the preview at go, good and full, but if you put it on draft auto and everything, this is really, really, really 60 FPS, and it has how and it shows how it's gonna be when it's actually on YouTube. Because now it doesn't really show how it is on YouTube; it just shows you the preview. So if it lags or anything, don't be afraid. And if you put it on draft auto and it still lags, then you have to be sure that, yeah, then your video is just gonna be like that. If really, if this is really slow and with low of FPS and not moving fast, just be sure that it's always, uh, always good. That's just a side note. But yeah, I'm just basically, I go through the video, I just generally listen to the parts I make. And if I hear myself hesitate, if I hear the big breaks, I cut it and I change it. I'm not going to save it, but if, for example, you're going to zoom in, because I have this this window right here, okay? So I w imagine I want to zoom in on you. I don't generally do this, but for this video, I'm just going to show you an example of it. You're going to go to the place where it is. So I don't know, I just picked it right here. I guess it's like here. No, and I start clicking. 
I want to zoom it, so I click here. There we go. I get, let's say, somewhere from here. It's going to go like this. You say this is the start and this is going to be the end, I believe. In 1 minute 50, in any case, you just start by doing this or something like that. And then you just... Wait, until how is it? Since when? You can see... Oh, okay, it starts... Okay, yes. So it is until here somewhere. Like this, you zoom in. So when you're making it littler, like smaller, like this. And I'm going to go a little bit further, like this. It should be good. There we go. I'm just going to watch always the corners. That you don't see anything black. I've gone, you know, that's, it's not good. That means that you tree pass the border. So that your video is not going to be good. At least it's going to have some fold in it. So like this, it should be good. So now when I play back, it should zoom, zoom in on the on the new thing. See, as you can see, it zoomed in perfectly nice, really nice. You can also show it you in 60 FPS when it's going to be on YouTube. On Draft Auto, for example. Well, as you can see, it is pretty... I'm just actually going to keep this. <laughs> I didn't want to really keep it, but I think it's, it's just... Uh, why not, you know? But yeah, that's NFA. Just a little effect that's mostly used also in editing. If you want to zoom in or something, or you want to focus something, you can use that. And this is the way to do it. So I'm actually going to finish just editing this video right now, which means cutting the breaks and all of the silent moments. And then I'll be back with, yeah, actually how we are going to do the next step in the real editing process. So I just finished editing the video. As I said, I only removed the silence parts, breaking parts and hesitation parts and just re yeah, just pay practically took them away and make them a trim start to another one. I showed that you previously. The video has begun 443 long. It's pretty nice. And what I generally do right now, I go to import media again and I go look for a song or one or two that depends on the length of the video, how much songs. So I go through the songs and I'm, I, I know which ones aren't copyrighted and everything, you know, I'm going to use this one. You want to put it down, I always put it, this is all the way down, okay? So if you drag this thing all the way down, you're at zero. There's no volume at all out of this bar, which is your song, so you will not hear everything. If you put it up a little bit, but just a tiny bit, slightly with your mouse, you can see 29.6, but there's also one before. Ah, there it was, 35.7. Always use that one, because it's like the lowest, and I also can match that really good with my voice. What I most of the time do to avoid, like, getting the music harder than the actual voice of my voice, I do this. I usually do, like, minus one. You really don't want to do this too much. You really want to be sure that this is around minus two, three maximum, you know, two and a half, really. Because otherwise, it will get really distorted and hard, your voice or either the uh, song, you know, you don't want that. So now I'm going to my voice and I'm going to, like, I think one, 1 1.9 is what I mostly use. So that my voice is now harder and the song is actually a little bit um, least louder. And throughout the video, you're going to hear that this actually has effects because the songs get uh, harder and harder most of the time when you play them. So that then in that case, I'm sure that my voice stays above the music. Really little song. Uh, like almost a minute. So I'm just gonna do that to finish it off, you know, I, ju I don't know. I just need something too. So I'm gonna take it like this. Also put this at minus 35.7. There we go. And I'm just gonna go here. I just cut it right here, you know. You're gonna do trim and bam. I generally just start finishing it off a little bit before, like when I start saying goodbye, next video, blah, blah, blah. I just put it like right over here. That's 114, it doesn't really matter. I right click on it. So you need to be sure you're on the arrow and on like this part here. Sometimes, yeah, there it is. And you want to have like a this slide that it slides away like this. I really like that. And it really gives that idea of like the music getting out of the video. So that's basically it for the music, I would say. And um, actually for the rest, I mean, I just did a really basic, uh, yeah, video editing right here. It's like how I do all of my videos. I edit them like this. I really uh, listen quite like closely to what I say and if it's good or not and if I should change it or not. And then in the end when I'm finished, I just have to add the music. And uh, as I said, the, fi the, s the facts that you can use, I use the zoom here at the beginning as I showed you just to show you how to zoom a little bit. And for the rest, you can mess with the colors all within this tab. You know, here are all of the colors you can, you can, uh, grow my key. That is a background remover color corrector. I used to use that really nice to uh, actually add some color to your things. And you have some light effects, films, I don't know, radio blur. I use Gaussian blur. I, I definitely, uh, Gaussian blur if you want to use the blur, 
by the way but that yeah that, that, those are all extra things i didn't went through them in detail this was just a basic editing video basically on yeah how to show you actually to how to edit these videos so i hope it helped you out it's really basic i hope just you got an idea on how everything works and that it is actually pretty simple to make a really good video with your of course your content eh? but that you can still really edit a nice video by doing pretty simple things so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like subscribe to my channel would also be really nice and i hope to see you in my next video goodbye